I came to work half an hour early to do this, so shh, be very, very quiet. This is perfume in my class. <laughs> this is for folks that I adore who can't handle the car rides with me, and I totally get that. This is so that I can spend some time with you if you want. So let's hang out today while I tell you about my latest perfume. Oh, no, so shy. We use the word obsession really lightly sometimes, and I'm probably not obsessed with this fragrance, but it is and has been for the last week. The best thing I've ever smelled in my life. As a preface to what I'm about to tell you about, this is not a designer fragrance. It's certainly not niche. It's, uh, it's, not, even, it's not even celebrity. This is a drugstore brand by Pacifica, and it's called, of all things, it's called Island Vanilla. What am I doing smelling anything that smells like or that's called Island Vanilla, you say? Because I'm nefarious <laughs> for uh, being confused by the note of coconut, which one thinks of and one thinks of Island Vanilla. And uh, yellow florals are not my favorite thing. And so Island Vanilla doesn't sound like anything that I would ever even pick up. But here's the story. I was at a grocery store that was changing over brands and owners and so they had big boxes and bins of crap which excites me. I don't know why and I was going through all of the bins of crap and picking out stuff and smelling everything that had a smell and like licking stuff and whatever. You know how we do when stuff is super cheap and so I picked up a body wash called Island Vanilla and went oh whatever. <laughs> That's it. That's the one. That's the smell my nose has been looking for. We had a weird nosegasm. The clouds parted and my life was complete. And I was like, dear Bono, I know you haven't found what you're looking for, but I have found what I'm looking for. So I don't need a YouTube channel anymore. I, uh, <laughs> I just wanted to tell you about this because this body wash was the best thing I'd ever smelled. I know that sounds like superbly. Haha, <laughs> that's like really, really high, high, high end hyperbole. But honestly, it just struck every chord in me and I went online when I got home to look to see if Pacifica made an actual fragrance. And I go like this because they do and it's 30 mils and in Canada it's 50 bucks for 30 mils. But I had to take a chance on it. I uh, texted Chris from the Perfume Nest and asked her if she had smelled it. And I was chatting with Carmen Centrix from Carmen Centrix. And she knows it too. And I'm like, why is nobody talking about this? I found it and I ordered it on the chance that it might smell like the body wash. Because the body wash doesn't last, obviously. It's body wash. So I bit the bullet, paid 50 bucks plus tax. Had it shipped to my home, it came, I smelled it, and that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. That scent profile, which we'll talk about in a second, is my favorite thing, and this iteration of that scent profile has just taken me three minutes and 30 seconds to tell you that this is it for me. Does that mean I'm not gonna wear my other fragrances? That's a main a situation. It just means that I have a favorite perfume now. I have a favorite perfume for today. Island Pacifica takes what is best out of Sarah Jeff's Lyra and it takes what's best out of Orchidée Vanille from Van Cleef and Arpels and it takes what's best out of Frank Buckley, Buckley's Vanille and it puts it together in a way that for me is I want to say 1.73% better than all of the others. If you don't know Serge Aslira, it is a beautiful, warm vanilla, but not cloying. So it's, a, it's warm, but fresh at the same time. And the characteristic that I love from that is that caramel. Serge Aff's caramel in, in um, Lyra is stunning. And then there's something fresh at the top. In that case, it's citruses. And then there are some florals and some woods. But to me, Lyra is all about the vanilla the caramel and the citrus. Island Vanilla takes that caramel from Serge Lyra. 
Then we have another fragrance that's very similar to Lyra, and it is Van Cleef & Arpels Orchidée Vanille, which I freaked out about before. Um, Orchidée Vanille has that vanilla, it has that floral, and it has that citrus, but instead of caramel, there is a note of white chocolate. Island Vanilla takes that note of white chocolate. And then Franck Boclet Vanille has all of those things as well, but then there's this citrus that gives it a, like a zing. And although Island Vanilla doesn't have that, uh, the ginger that's what's causing the zing in Franck Boclet Vanille, it has instead lavender and white tea. Editing Yulia here. If you're looking on for Grantica for the notes for Island Vanilla, you're not going to see all of the notes I'm talking about. Having said that, to me, that's what I smell. And I can only tell you what I smell. There's honey in the Fragrantica notes breakdown, and I certainly don't get that. So I'm just telling you what I smell, not what Fragrantica says. And I keep going like this because to me, that's a fresh vanilla. There is that sweet from the caramel and the chocolate and then there's this lift from citrus and from lavender and from white tea from aromatics. We've all said it, perfume does not have to be expensive to be amazing and to me this fragrance is amazing. It was 50 bucks for 30 mils, did I already say that? That's pretty dear for a uh, drugstore fragrance, but at the same time, because it is that 2% better for me because of that white tea and lavender, whatever it does, whatever that thing at the top of it is. I know that perfume is a smell and it doesn't have direction, but for me it does. And so that thing that makes it 2% better is worth it for me. This is right now the scent of my life. This is the scent that I Need. I will talk to you later about what my soul smells like. This is not what my soul smells like. That sounds weird, but stay tuned to a few videos down the road. But this is the fragrance I've been looking for all of my life. Quickly, quickly, the packaging is just this. I don't, didn't bring it with me. It's this little glass bottle. It doesn't have a cap. It's so weird. It doesn't have a cap. Um, so the packaging is not important. Its performance is good. Not really, not really. It's like two hours, three at the most. Um, it doesn't project crazily, but it's there. Its performance is fine. And for that price at 50 bucks for 30 mils in Canada, that seems a little bit dear. But you people in the United States of America can get this for very cheap at your local grocery store. And um, I'm not trying to sell you this perfume. That's not, I mean, you know, that's not what I'm not about. I'm not about trying to sell you anything at all. I am just having communication with you and letting you know what I think smells good. If you love Lyra, but you're not into that price point, if you love your Orchidée Vanille, but that performance is really, really poor on you, and if you love Franck Boclet Vanille, this smells just like that. So why do you need all four, I ask you? Well, you don't. You don't need all four, but I do. This scent profile is my favorite, and the addition of the lavender and white tea in this fragrance just gives it that 2% that takes it over the frickin' edge for me. I am over the frickin' moon for this fragrance. It's not designer, it's not niche, it's not, it's not even a celebrity. It is a drugstore fragrance that... I am proud to own, and I will be owning many, many, many bottles of it. If you've smelled this one, can you leave me a note down below? Because you're going to be like, this lady's crazy. What is she talking about? I can get this at the grocery store. You can, and I, uh, I highly recommend a sniff. I'm not saying go buy it. I'm just saying sniff it, just so you can smell what I am literally obsessed over. I'm Yulia Graham. This is uh, Perfume in my class. <laughs> And I, I came to work half an hour early to do this, so it's done now, and um, I hope that you uh, have a good day. I hope that you do get a chance to sniff this. I hope you find what you're looking for in a fragrance, because that's so fun to find something that you just love. It's like tasting your favorite food for the first time, you know, and it changes, and we're fickle, and our hormones and everything affects what we love, and today I am utterly in love with Island.
vanilla. Thanks, Pacifica, for making that. Thank you to you, my scent brothers and sister, and I'm Binary Scent Sibling, for hanging out with me today and just having some goofy fun. We'll see you in the next one.